Hi Scorpio, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general, as you know, cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Roles can be reversed. They can intermingle and flip around. Let me check my mic real quick. Um, so just take what resonates. Did I already say that? <laughs> it is not gender specific. So if I say he, she, ignore me. Uh-oh, maybe some drama going on. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. So maybe dealing with a fire sign. And there could be an element of wanting someone to... I don't know, apologize maybe. What was that? It, it, there's a feel of being tired of the drama and wanting, wow. So if we do, okay, I don't do extendeds very often, um, but the ones I have done have been amazing. If I do feel a need to do an extended for this, there'll be a link down below. So we have Page of Swords. Somebody's, you know, wanting to find out information. Looks like they're willing to work pretty hard at it, too. There could be some spying, but look at this, the levers. And whatever this is, it, it could affect a decision, um, whether to stay, whether to go, maybe between two people. <clears throat> uh, yeah, whether to walk away. I kind of feel like somebody just wants to know the other person is sorry, you know? The sun. Healing. They, something wanting to be illuminated. This is judgment. Judgment can be about a return or um, a revelation or a ascension. This also is pretty... This is things being illuminated and happy. Forward motion. Yeah, something's going on that hopefully is going to promote either a new beginning or closure. Truth. I think you guys are wanting some truth. Wow, look at that. Why do you care about the truth so much? I think because you do want that new cup of love or somebody did come back. And you want to know, I don't know, some truth, 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 truth. Six of Cups, yeah, somebody may come back. This is a return, usually, but it's fond, sweet memories, and there's a lot of indecision. Do I take it? Do I not? Do I believe this? Do I not? Let's see if we can find out more. Okay, Scorpio. So, love and blessings to all this reaches. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to look at your energy, theirs, recent past, what's next, get some advice. Four cups. Yeah, just a lot of thought on what to do. Should I take this? Should I believe this? I think it's all boiling down to maybe a deception that you um, need to forgive or, or decide, you know, to walk away. Forgiveness is always a good idea, right? Because not forgiving just hurts you more. It's kind of, um, even if it's not really forgiveness might be the, not the right word, maybe acceptance. It is what it is. And, you know, um, I'm better off not dwelling, something like that. Wow, there it is. Yeah, I think there's a lot of focused attention on something. Let's, um, this is going to be overall energy. We're going to start with that. Then we'll look at your energy and then theirs. Okay, so Three of Pentacles is typically cooperation, coming together, working together. Let me raise this up. Let's see if we can get you guys a little better angle. I don't know why that's not lit up better. Let's see if I can... I wish I had like a set up that I didn't have to mess with all the time. Okay, so current energy. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. 
coming in slow. So it's very interesting in this deck. Actually, let's stop and read that because it always kind of throws me off in this deck. But that card looks like it's, um, it's taking time, but there's temptation. It's ongoing even though there's resistance. That temptation is just kind of persistent. Like even though you know it may not be the best idea, let's see if we can see what it means in this deck. Yeah, temptation, material action, wow. Everything is in motion as a continual exchange. However, what drives us should be our own volition and not obsession or greed. Things have meaning and not just value. I do, I do feel like there is a bit of an, you know, an obsession to get to the bottom of something or um, to have some sort of clarity. There's like, it's hard to move, wow, communication at the bottom of the deck. It's like it's hard to move on until you get some sort of forward motion, until you get some sort of information, something like that. Wow, there's that Queen of Wands again. Drama. Drama could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, your energy, as we said, Page of Swords, very investigative. Be very, could be spying, just really trying to figure out what's going on or what happened. Page of Swords. Hmm. That is our spy guy, but he's very curious and he wants truth. You know, swords are about truth, can be very much about truth. Two of Swords in reverse. This is being blocked still, you know, no motion forward, but it's in reverse. Looks like you are trying to find out and decide if you should move forward with someone. Knight of Wands, yeah, taking action. Your energy, Knight of Cups. So you, you both want to take action. Love, passion here. Wow, Emperor. So the Emperor is somebody who is in control. Very strong, respected. The King of Kings. Could be dealing another 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 Aries indication. Oh, three of swords. Pain. Heartbreak. Somebody left you hurt. Or you left them hurt. You know, your person is hurt. You may not know that. Let's look at the recent past. Strength, holding back. Um, strength card is, it, it, there's an S element of, you know, trying to remain or stay in control. Resist, maybe. This one, in this deck, I always think of, you know, form new thought patterns. You know, new new neurotransmitters by forming new habits and new ways of thinking. Always hard to do, right? Yeah, and then Five of Cups in the recent past. Sadness, regret, what happened, what went wrong. I'm trying not to think about it. You, Scorpio, you may be in a position where you, um, something went wrong or you feel like you were cheated and you were doing really good. Um, trying to let it go, but it looks like something stirred it back up. <clears throat> queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is somebody that's very on top of things she she you know crosses her t's and dots her eyes she's she's got everything you know all she's got it together she is stable and again i feel like maybe that that was where you were headed in the recent past but something has kind of interrupted that eight of pentacles up next, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, hard work, focused attention. We have that, an element of that twice. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Nine of Wands is not giving up. This one's interesting, though. We're going to clarify it. The Death. So, Scorpionic energy, a death. the death card in tarot is actually 
a great thing because it implies a new beginning. So you could be letting this person go. That could be your outcome. Let's get one more. Hermit. Deciding to pull back, go within. Yeah, at Scorpio, I think you guys are going through some um, major ascension, you know. Let's clarify everything. Why do we have the Page of Swords? Yeah, somebody, it's like, is there an obsession with trying to figure out what the deception was? Wanting, okay, you're unblocked, you're letting them be unblocked, or you're wanting to. Seven of Swords, deception, lies, trickery. It's like you want to believe, but you're having a hard time. Somebody's just, I think there's a drama queen involved here. Ace of Wands. Okay. Passionate new beginning. I want a passionate new beginning. I've been blocked. I've made one little step, but I'm still haunted by or obsessing over not knowing if it's legit or what happened. Somebody, I think somebody wants you back. But what's funny is this person is hurt too. Why do we have the Knight of Wands? So love, I mean, there's an, a lot of love here. The love is driving this. Overall, we have Hangman, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So, it's like a slow burn. It's like there's this um, really trying hard to pull away, and it's just a, a you know um, an in out energy even within you. I do really get if I focus on work and I get my mind off it, but then it's just it just goes right back to the slow burn of um, what happened, why did this happen? Let's see, why do we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands? Oh. It, uh, yeah, it's, there's like you have a psychic knowing. The high priestess is somebody that leans back. She doesn't really say much. She's a little bit aloof, and but she knows. She knows deep down there's something, something that is unsettling. And I feel like that's you, but in this case, for some reason, you just can't seem to let it go, which, you know, ugh. Justice, this is your person's energy. Fairness, things being balanced out. Maybe they got their karma. You know, maybe that you, that, oh, look at that. Five of Swords. Maybe because you pulled away, it kind of broke them. Somehow, let's see, why do we have the Justice card? You pulled away, just like I, you pulled away, it hurt them. And Scorpio, you know, I know you're going through a lot and really trying not to dwell and focus, but there is still, you're fighting that obsession to know if they're legit. Um, but they're hurt. They're hurt. So whatever you did, however you handled it, Walking away is what it looks like. It it there is a karma there or, or a balance, you know. It it looks like they hurt you and you hurt them back. Why do we have the emperor and the three swords? I, mean, I already know because you walked away. Wow. Tell me that's soulmate twin flame. Possibly tell me why we have the four of wands for Scorpio's person. The truth. I think they're figuring out how much they love you. 
and star. This is Aquarius energy, but like, you know, this person is my wit. It's like, um, I drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever thought of it, like, or read that card that way. But that's kind of what, I'm swimming in emotion because I drank the Kool-Aid. I figured it out. It's like they've had this awakening. You leaving or whatever you did hurt them, left, made them realize um, they're going, oh my gosh, what did I do? They left me. I think this is what's going on. They're realizing or going to realize that you're value because you walked away and then they're like, oh no, what did I do? They, oh yeah. They're thinking about the past. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy. So they're thinking about the past. They're realizing the love and what, you know, they drink the Kool-Aid. They're, looks like they're addicted. They want, they're thinking about the good things, not the bad things. Here they are trapped. Can't seem to let go. There could be some self-soothing or self-medicating, um, you know, like an addiction going on here with that devil card, Capricorn energy. But, um... Look at that, two of cups. This person is, you know, suffering. Crazy about you. Let's look at the recent past again. Tell me about the strength, the five of cups, and the queen of pentacles. You did a number on them, page of cups. Okay, so here's what's, here's where I think you are now. The distance brought them to brought realization to them about their feelings for you. You were doing really good until there was some recent communication, and now it's progressing. But it looks like you're not trusting it, and you may have like be holding a grudge or not able to. Um, let go like it's like you want to uh, maybe you just need clarity about what happened but it's like it's like there's um heart and truth and clarity this is um high level relationship this is ethics and tradition and maybe you just need to be honest about that wanting that look at that yeah truth clarity I think you have something good here, but I, I don't blame you for not for needing to know if they're going to be shady again, because there was deception. The Ace of Swords is truth, clarity after a, a victory, after a battle. The Empress, this is everything I've ever wanted, right? The Empress holds all the amazing qualities. The Hierophant, all about truth, tradition, um, high-level relationships. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, let's look at outcome more. I mean, this is how they view you. Pretty amazing. But you're... Uh, uh, yeah. You may be having a hard time getting over the hurt. Let's look at outcome because you may not want this person back. I'm not getting that real strong. I'm feeling like it's all on their end. Tell me more. Page of Wands. Hmm. Magician. Magician is Aries again manifesting. Five of Pentacles and Lovers. Oh, Scorpio, you may want them to... You, <laughs> yeah, you may want them to suffer. And realize... I think you want them to realize what they lost and they are. Let me see if I get anything from this one. Tell me how... Um, I think they are realizing what they lost, but uh, that may bring you some closure, some satisfaction. You know, it, it, we shouldn't hang on to that, but you know, we kind of seem can't help it. How about advice? Oh yeah, you're gonna have a new beginning. Wow. 
you're going to end up being victorious. There's going to be pain in the past, but it's going to, after this pain and battle, you're going to have something new. Again, Aries, strong Aries. I think you're going to block this person. What else is coming up for, for um, Scorpio? Your heart's going to mend. You're going to rest, recover. This is beautiful. Page of Swords. Here again we have spy. But this is all about wanting the truth. So it looks like you're gonna you're gonna figure it out. Yeah, look at that. Cycle's gonna complete. More on um Scorpio, please. Wow. So I think you're going to have it all. This cycle is going to complete. You may have somebody totally different returning from your past, but you're also going to have, this is amazing, you're also going to have that independence and that ability to be happy on your own. This Nine of Pentacles is wish, fulfillment, finances, um, independence. And even though you have somebody, ooh, for okay, hold on, I'm getting something else. For some of you, it might be this is you're able to get your you're thinking about how you used to be okay on your own, how you used to not need anyone, how you used to not um, feel so dependent or on on someone else to be happy and free, and that's that's a comp, that's happening or is going to happen in the future. But I still feel like you have someone new. Or someone from the past returning. An emperor. Some, yeah, somebody's going to come in, like, with love and who's also respectful. Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles, waiting, watching. Mm, okay, get mad. You guys are going to get mad at me, but some of this is an element of watching your cell phone, waiting, waiting, waiting for a message. You know, like if you sit there and obsess over hearing from somebody, you're just watching your cell phone, watching your cell phone. Um, Wheel of Fortune is forward motion. There's a choice. There's a choice. I think it's going to be to cut someone out, and that's going to free you. Once you're able to finally do it, it's going to free you. Good things coming. No more juggling. That two of pentacles in reverse. Death, an ending, letting something go. Remember that no matter how much you want someone, freeing yourself of them, elevating yourself is a win-win because it makes you more attractive to them. It makes you more attractive to yourself. You know, what you believe is really what you are. So if you believe you're free of this person, if you believe you're better than this, then you end up living that out, creating that for tomorrow. If you feel stuck and dependent and waiting for this person to reach out, then that also is forming and shaping your tomorrow. So you've got some decisions to make here. You know, short yourself or not. I do, mm, the devil, I do feel like there's some, did y'all see that Capricorn energy? I do feel like there's some uh, uh, inner work that, that you guys might need to let go, to be okay with it, to let go, and um, even though you may be moving on, just to not dwell on what happened to you, because we can't control what other people do, but you have to, in this case especially, or you have to really remember that it isn't you. It was them. You can sit there and say, well, if I was this or if I was that, then they would see me this way or that way. No, you could have been completely perfect. We have several indications this person 
was the issue, not you. Please stop beating yourself up over it. So they're going to have to grow. Your, your lesson, I think, is to be able to be happy even if somebody wrongs you, you know? Create your future, which you can do. Let me grab an oracle. Okay, I'm feeling this one real quick. Let's do this. Wow. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. Or maybe a dark, you know, soul. Chain of events will attract your will affect your life. Seahorse. Keep your life in balance. Muddled, unclear thinking. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just right all over the place with it. Not letting you know it go. But you're trying and you're going to. And they are wanting, they are hurt, by the way. You already know that. Wow. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Good things are coming. Let's do this one. Why? Just because. Thank you. I know. Oh, you guys have a new career coming. I now create a wonderful new job. I am total, and that could be it too. Focusing. There was several cards that indicated, and I didn't really go into it, but there are several cards that indicate focusing on pentacles. And that probably, once you get that going and have that accomplishment, it's going to help. Um, raise you know your self-value i am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities working for and with people i love people i love i people wait i love in a wonderful location and earning good money with people i love okay wait sorry working for and with people i love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Beautiful. That could be the whole message is um, it's do, you're do this. You're do the success. You've been beat down. Who It could have been an, a work coworker or a boss, but whoever it is that wronged you that you're really dwelling on, they're hurting. That's important for you to know. You leaving the situation, maybe a job, it brought hurt to them and now they're they're seeing your value now but i think you're moving on to better things it's up to you you could go back and try again but um if you decide not to go back better 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 things okay that's wonderful love it happy for you guys okay and here again you know i didn't quite catch this card that well but here look at it the nine of wands he's been through a lot it's been a long hard road but look at that there's such an element here of breaking free of it you know you guys let me know in the comments i love to read your comments hear your stories um i pray for you guys every day i hope you guys are praying for each other and just leave comments let me know um, and I also love to hear where you're watching from, but I'm very excited for you. This is a beautiful reading. It's like, oh my gosh, very complicated, but very happy ending. It's an, an it's an element of um, an eye for an eye, you know. And guess who's winning? You are, and not by taking revenge. It's just happening if you allow it. You don't have to take revenge. I know it's a struggle not to dwell, but good things coming. All right, Scorpio, love you guys. Let me know in the comments and I will see you soon. Bye, Scorpio.